is there something hello is there something that um we're not being told and you may say gina honey what you talking about well with the um the giving away of the bug out bags and how they specifically said a bug out bag would be given away in denver is there something that we're not being told I know that September is National Preparedness Month, and it has been for a while. And um, it does seem rather odd. Hello. Hello. It does seem rather odd that um, they would be giving away bug out bags like backpacks uh, with some stuff in them for the people, and um, I read some of the comments that were put on there by others on the comment section of that video, and they said, well, what are we supposed to do for food and stuff if, um, you know, if we were to get one of them? I said, well, you know, you, you I guess you could, um, you could put in them what you wanted to, uh, add stuff to it, you all, you could. But then if you think about it, uh, with them having a bug out bag on the table, an emergency like to go bag, because you know that it didn't have like the required two weeks of food and clothing or something like that. It didn't. It was a literally a grab it and go bag. That's what a bug out bag is. You grab it and you go. And it's just like the bare necessities, the bare necessities without any food. And um, so the first give out was on the 10th. It's going to be on the 10th where it was. And then the second give out is going to be in the college uh, rec area, I think on the 24th, which you know that date of the 24th. People say, oh, well, that's when this uh, Belgium or German person said that, you know, September the 24th, everybody will remember where they were on that day, um, where they were in the world. And then there's this video that is going around saying, no, he misspoke. He was talking about the February of the Ukraine. No, 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 no. I don't know where I was in the world when that happened. Okay, I don't. So I don't, I think that right there, no, mm -mm. No, this was not, this did not, that did not affect everybody in the world. So to make a blanket statement like that for that person to say, everybody will know what they were doing or where they were on that day. To me, that would be an earthwide shattering event. But to come back and say, he misspoke. He was just talking about the Ukraine on the February. No, 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 because I can honestly tell you, I didn't even know when it started, and I couldn't tell you what I was doing or where I was at. It's literally left my mind, you all. It has. Something else. Um, and then the Denver. Denver is like, um, that's where NORAD's at in the Denver area. Uh, you have a Cheyenne Mountain. You have, that's where the uh, contingency area is. You know, if there was ever something, that's the area right there continuity of government that's there will be bunkered down hunkered down there in the cheyenne mountains you all in colorado way 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 underneath so i i wonder you know hello there susan b honey um so i wonder i really do is there is there something that we're not being told is there and because they know how things get around that you throw something out there and then it starts circulating and circulating and it gets people to thinking. Now, I don't have a problem with, you know, them giving out bug out bags. I wish they had a whole lot of bug out bags they give out to everybody. I really, I do everywhere. Everywhere, just give out bug out bags for people. Uh, even if it's like the bare necessity, like some first basic first aid kit and, you know, paper towel, toilet paper, whatever else, a flashlight. I think that's absolutely wonderful. I really do. Um, it should be widespread everywhere because, you know, they got the money to do that if they wanted to. I don't know if they have the manpower, people to volunteer to do that. But um, at least when you see something like that on the table and you see the items that were pulled out of the bag, it gives a visual to people and it gets embedded in their head. 
It's embedded in your mind because you saw it. And maybe, um, maybe that was meant to get people thinking, okay, get you a backpack. You can even get a pillowcase or something, but if you have to walk, you'd want a backpack. You don't want to have no hand. You want hands free, you all. But really, is there something that we're not being told going on? What? The video keeps cutting out on your end. You all, is this video cutting out? Do I need to stand still uh, in one spot? Um... Really? Let me see something. I wonder what happened. Do you see me on here? I'm not moving. You can see me? Um, is it buffering still? Um, that's really interesting. If it's buffering... Yeah. Something on the 24th. Okay, you all. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. I'll just stand still. We're supposed to stand still at some point in life. You ever get to a point in your life where you literally, you stand still, you don't move. The big breaks of life are slammed on. And you don't move because that's what you do. You stand. You stand at the door. Um, it's what you do. You all get your radios. Okay, I'll try not to walk. Maybe, um, I don't know. Stay in the moment. Be in the moment. Uh, while being aware of what's happening around you all. So, is there something that we're not being told? I'm going to stick to the subject because it's an important subject. It really is. That we're not being told. And um, with the um, preparedness bag that they're giving away, the, the bug out bag, why they um, did that. And, um, yeah. I know I have bug out bags, backpacks. They're kind of heavy because I try to pack too much in them. But if I had something very simple and light, uh, I could just throw on my back. That'd be even better. But, you know, if you if you have to go somewhere on feet, you know how people are having to evacuate where they're at. And they only got the clothes on their back and whatever they can carry. It, it would be good if you had a backpack. Um, the 21st. Okay, so... The 21st was a date that was put out there by this one scientist that Nibiru was going to have a collision with Earth. That was a theory that was put out there, you all. And I think the 21st was the 21st uh, United Nations Peace Day also, was it? You got a lot of ringing in your ears. Hello, everyone. Oh, the the enemy does all kinds of things to people. They re it really does. You just take your just take your pick on, and the enemy's everywhere. Everywhere um, is where it's at. Everywhere. Oh yeah, they they they've been trying to separate for a long, long time, and a, a lot of people are falling for it. Okay, a lot of people are falling for it because what the enemy has to offer sounds very appealing, and it offers power. It offers power to people. Have you noticed that? When they want to try to separate, power comes right along with it because that's like the Lord of the Rings. What men desire above all else is power. Um, but that's not true. What every man desires really is an unfailing love uh, inside of here and stuff. Hmm. Um, uh, there are some people who say Nibiru don't exist. That's all fictitious and stuff. But then why, really, you have to ask yourself, why is um, why is there so much written about it? So much uh, in the Sumerian culture and stuff like that. Why? If it doesn't exist, why even waste time addressing something that doesn't exist? Because that would be not even worth your time. Not worth anybody's time to even address something
that does not exist and keep on having to address it address it year after year after year after year after year, year even address things that have been written down in ancient times if it did not exist why do they have to keep coming back and try to address it okay yeah that's the thing right there that's right you all that's okay um an elliptical um some say it's a misnomer of a planet some people think the moon is nibiru the ship cloaked they really do now i will admit sometimes with this moon when the full moon or something comes around oftentimes um when i would film i got one video when i would film the moon would be like in this part of the sky the southwestern part and the clouds would always come around and there was like a great big red glow behind the moon and i thought what why is that there because it was really eerie it really was a great big it was a dark red glow i said that should not be behind the moon it really shouldn't but it's like the dark clouds also came and they they covered the moon but before they did the great big red red like object or something up there behind the moon um yeah Oh, the Georgia, Georgia, the Gorge, Gorge, the Georgia Guidestones, how they uh, put them up um, for some reason. Everything happens for a reason. There's nothing that's accidental. Nothing. Uh, it is done to, uh, for certain responses, it really is. Um, it is, it's pretty, it's pretty out here today. It's really pretty. It's like, um. I'm trying not to move. It's 70 degrees. You can see the barometric pressure. You can see the humidity. It's a really nice breeze blowing and the sky is blue. And I'm trying not to move because um, I get some buffering going on you while I do. The sun will go, is in the supernova. I know there's videos about if the sun were to do that, if our sun was dying and stuff, what would happen? Um, yeah. Well, this is the latter half of my life. Uh, the, the, the first half of my life, I um, grew up in extreme poverty. I did until um, I got married at age 21, I think, age 21. And my husband was in the military. So every so many years, we would move from base to base. And then when we got out of the military, this was a foreclosure. And it didn't look anything like you're seeing right now weeds everything was overgrown there was no trees no nothing uh everything was planted well these locust trees were here and the two great big trees down there but that was it everything else uh, it was a lot of hard work uh but it's okay it's right you all oh there's been so many 10 days of darkness since uh 2018 since i started this Ten, actually, it was a lot of three days of darkness. There's been so much of that. Predictions, every year it comes around and it doesn't happen. It really doesn't. Um, thank you. Um, muddy girl, uh, you appreciate everything uh, you're doing. Ah, uh, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. Ah. Uh. If you put in the prayer group, your I'm, if you wish. Um, yeah. So, you all, what, what is it that we're not being towed? And we, we know that there's things that we're not being towed. I don't like to stand still on this porch. Um, but I, I will just, just because, you know. That looks like a picture. Um, like another rim right there. It really does. I mean, it's this rim, but... Standing here looking at it, it does kind of look like it. And I wonder if that Denver story, you all, if the Denver story of them giving away bug out bags. Well, and then I thought on a college campus too, in the college area, well, the college students would be able to go that area and they could grab a backpack if something did happen those college students would have something, you know, they would. The young ones, the young college students. 
Um, yeah. So, Danny, you know what we are not being told, and so does Gina. Uh, I don't know what that would be. I really don't. Uh, I think a lot of people know something within their spirit uh, is what that that's for sure. They know. Um, perhaps they can't find the words. Perhaps it's not time to say what it is either. Uh, I know it is nice to get to walk, but I, I don't like, um, I don't like it buffering. I don't, uh, especially, um, if there's something, you know, to say, I do like the porch. I like the colors on the porch. Um, I like the, the greenery the dark green colors and the light green and the different shapes of leaves and the blueness of the sky. I think that's pretty too, you are. I really do. It's healing. It is. Oh, Susan, honey, that's great. Mmm. You keep seeing sparkles. Um, has anyone, I'm going to, I am trying to stick to, has anyone woke up with, between your shoulder blades, as if like, as if like there's something there, but if you look at back, there's nothing there. It's like something there is underneath your skin. Has anyone like sensed that? Just like within the past few days, like something is under your skin embedded or something? Um, that blue really looks good with the white, you all. It does. I hope it looks good on your end because it really looks pretty. Looks a lot prettier than the um, the white sky, the total white sky. Uh, Miss Parker, you caught me live. You're having an awful time sleeping. Um, his heart is in his back, and his back now is interesting. Well, I felt like, I thought, is there like, this is what I thought. Do I have like a cyst or something on my back, some kind of sore, and I can't see it or feel it or a bump or something? I had my daughter look. She said, there's nothing there. There's nothing. And uh, at times, if I move a certain way, it's like something is there. Um... No, I don't have no Magellan, Morgellan parasite. Um, that always comes up every now and then when people explain anything like the swelling, the massive headaches, and all of that kind of stuff. No. Um, yeah. It is. Um, you heard that they were our wings. I did write a poem. Uh, give me back my wings. Um, several years back, and then it ended, give me back my wings so that I can fly again. It's a pretty little poem. Yeah. Um, so, um, um, it was a, it's a warning if somebody wants to fill the comments in about a warning in Germany. Uh, is it Belgium or Germany about something happening on the 24th? Everyone will remember what they were doing or where they were on the 24th. And then there's a video going around saying, oh, no, he didn't mean the 24th. He meant February when the Ukraine got whatever. But no, I don't remember where I was when that happened back in February. I have no, I didn't even know when it happened. I really didn't. So I, the, I don't like the cover story. The cover story, the other s side of the story the track covering, no. And I also heard that is when Prince Charles takes his stand on the... Well beg your pardon you all <laughs> beg your pardon when I said that I didn't even get to finish it you all I didn't <laughs> all I did was step when I was saying the 24th is when Prince Charles was supposed to take his place as king 
uh, more, yes, or whatever it is. I heard that too. Those that waited weeks or something would been up or something like that. Yeah. We'll see you all. We will. Um, I am probably going to go. So is there something that they're not telling us? Chances are there's a lot of something they're not telling us. Um, chances are. And we've just got to be ever vigilant and aware. We do. And it's, it's not a bad idea to get a bug out bag, even a basic one, like a backpack and throw something in it. Certainly, it's not like the two-week supply that FEMA mentions for a bug out bag, a two-week supply of things like that. But it's something that literally you grab it and you go. You ain't got time to, for nothing else, and it won't weigh you down. That's right, you all. That's right. Uh, so I am going to go. And um, with that being said, you all, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love, you have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Thank you so much for tuning in um, because there is a lot going on. And um, I think we know there is, and we should prepare in whatever manner you feel you need to prepare. And if you say, what are we preparing for? Maybe you can go through some comments or something like that. Um, yeah, it's good to always have a preparedness plan. Love you.